morning everyone it's jalani the morning scripture came from psalm chapter 55 verses 1 to 3 and verse 17 let us pray heavenly father we come to you this morning in the name of our lord jesus christ to give you thanks for another day of life another day that you have provided for us dear lord and we are gratefully thankful for you doing all of these things for us each and every day i thank you for providing for us i thank you for comfort i thank you for shelter i thank you for strength dear lord i thank you for being our god our god that who never leaves us nor forsakes us a faithful god and a true god one and only holy almighty god and Lord, I just pray that you help each and every one of us as always, that we in turn may be faithful servants unto you, in perfect love, doing the things that are pleasing unto you, being led by your Holy Spirit in all things. Lord, I want to pray for those of us, especially those of us who believe and love on you, who are being persecuted in this world, those who have been put to death those who have been put before courts those who have been attacked and hurt and bruised all for the sake of your name all for the sake of their faith in you i want to pray that you keep them strong keep them unmoved i want to pray that we also when these things and these times do come upon us come upon us that we likewise are faithful right to the end lord i know that the world is gearing up and is shown so vividly that it's getting evil and evil, more evil and evil every day. As I said, the, the world shall wax worse and worse and it is evident that it is doing so. So I just want to pray that you keep us from distraction, keep us from the, the, being overcome with the cares of this life, the lust of the eyes, the desires of this life. The lust of the flesh, dear Lord, and the pride of life, that these things are never become our idol, never become our God, never become the things that we worship and idolize, <coughs> but that we always seek you and love you and hold fast to you in this life so that we can have eternal life with you. So as we go to your word, as always, dear Lord, enlighten our minds open our understanding lead us in spirit and in truth to get everything that you want us to get from your word that there is no deception in any way shape or form and we pray these things in the name above all names even the name of our lord jesus christ amen all right okay so psalm 55 verse 1 to 3 says give ear to my prayer O god and hide not thyself from my supplication Attend unto me and hear me. I mourn in my complaint and make a noise because of the voice of the enemy, because of the oppression of the wicked, for they cast iniquity upon me and in my and in wrath they hate me. Verse 17 goes on to say, Evening and morning and at noon will I pray and cry aloud. And he shall hear my voice. Right? So, let's start from verse 1 there. And it does, um, that is the psalmist, right, David. <coughs> he, there asking God really to just be attentive to his prayers, right? He is being reverent in 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 seeking the lord and letting the lord know like lord I, I need you to hear my prayer because he acknowledged that it's only god can deliver him it is only god he put his trust in so he would definitely want his prayers to be answered when he he, he does um ask these of god right i said he he, he does um sup do supplications and that is just um being earnest if if i must uh, yeah i would say being earnest in 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 seeking the lord right 
and being um intentive in seeking the Lord, right? And um Yeah. <laughs> that's all that's what what he's saying there. He just wants he's just asking the Lord, hear my prayer. As we said, I will keep saying we have to put it in our mind that God is God Almighty. He is the king and the king of all kings at that. And we are the servants. So where I've seen us as believers always just think that we can just pray anything. Just 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 pray willing it. Just yes, God do this, God do that, God do this, God do that. Like he's the servant. Right? He's not. Yes, he is a righteous king in so much that he he is attentive to his servants and he does um serve because he showed us even when he walked as flesh as and blood that he came and he served us although he is still king nevertheless let's not forget that he is the one that is in authority he is that total author authoritarian right and um we all all we can do really is make requests and be humble and be patient um in in the things that we make requests for we can ask of him but he ultimately knows what's best for us. So it's not everything that we ask for. Even if we are the most sincere in, our, in asking. It doesn't necessarily have to give it to us. Right? And it's not for us now to, to, to lose our faith. Like, oh, I prayed this for 10 years and God hasn't given it to me. So wife serve him. Well, if that's your choice, you're still, you're still um, not doing yourself any benefit there. Right? Because... As I said, he, he is the king of all kings. He's Lord of all lords. So he's the only one that can give us all things in this life. But is he would ultimately give it according to our, his will if we actually want the best for our lives. Right? So it's just something to, to um, remember that he is in charge, not us. Right? He's not a slot machine that we just put in our coin of prayer, pull the lever, and expect our, our 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 result right not saying that he does not answer prayers but that he ultimately will want what's best for us we want what his will is we don't know all things so sometimes we pray things amiss because we don't know all things we don't know the end so ultimately as jesus christ has taught us i encourage every one of us even when you're praying finish that prayer and say not my will be done, but thy will be done, Lord. So, so that we know that ultimately, everything what I said, if it's not according to your perfect, good, and acceptable will, then you can just you can just push it to the side. Right? So verse 2 said, Attend unto me and hear me. I mourn in my complaint and make a noise because the voice of my enemy, because the oppression of the wicked, for they cast iniquity upon me, and in wrath they hate me. And as we said, we, we, we do pray in in times of our distress, of course. And um yes, we, 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 we ought to make our, our ourselves known to God in prayer. Not that he no needs he, he, that not that he doesn't know what we're gonna pray for ev uh, anyway. Prayer is more likely we acknowledging this, but God already knows, and he? he knows all things. But um just showing you there yes we're going to be oppressed even in this day and age also this is when david was oppressed but we are going to likewise suffer oppression um if we choose to live a life according to jesus christ without wavering right this world is going to be persecuting us right it has begun even yesterday i was watching this video of this um guy and he goes around and he literally just preach the gospel. He preach God's love. God loves you. And the amount I hate this man get sometimes. <laughs> it's a ridiculous. Like um, even the video I was watching yesterday. The people I mean, they are thump, thump the man in him face. And the people around him slap slap them up in them face. And all of that stuff. Because he's preaching the gospel. Right? And he's preaching against sin. And as we said. People nowadays think that we, we should stop sin, talking about preaching against sin when jesus preached against sin like the apostles preached against sin we, we we can't just stop but um as i said because the world loves sin they're gonna hate you for preaching against the things that they love 
and because this is going to be going waxing worse and worse as we said there's going to be oppression there's going to be persecution and persecution even unto death as we said so um yeah david just said that he prayed he, he made his his voice known unto god because of these things um because of the oppression and those who hate him and jesus even went up further and taught us that pray for those who persecute you those who um abuse you and persecute you those who your enemies and all that we need to pray for them also um obviously that's a hard thing at times in the situations but um it's just for us to remember those words that jesus christ has taught us and pray that he does allow us to be faithful in these things when they come like when we do have persecution and our enemies oppressing us um, that we are in, in that frame of mind of Christ that we can actually do what he says and pray for them also, right? Um, as it said in verse 17 there, it says, Evening and morning and noon will I pray and cry aloud and he shall hear my voice. So it just shows you that um, the persistent prayer of a righteous man availeth, availeth much, right? It shows you that um, God is looking for us to be earnest as i said in the praying not just pray one time and expect it like he's a slot machine as i said but in sincerity show your, your supplication show your earnestness and um the persistence right and um yeah we need to get in the habit of praying as it said pray without ceasing pray right throughout our life right pray throughout every day every moment and when i say pray it's just communication with God. Yes, it's good some, um, to pray reverently. Um, some people fall on their knees. Some people fall on their face. Some people um, lie out, stretched out. But at the end of the day, you can just be in at around your office desk. Cl close, if, close your eye, open your eye, focus on the Lord in your mind and ask of him the things that you, 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 you are that's pressing you right and as we said ultimately we want what's best for us and we he knows what's best for us so it's his will not our will be done right so yeah i'll leave it at that this morning everyone um reminder alert that the email address for your questions is in the description it's the word at eachreach1.org send in any questions at all that is pressing you and as much as the lord has taught me and led me over the years i will answer it according to his will according to his word and according to his spirit right so um yeah whoa <laughs> all right so um yeah i'll call it a day today hopefully everybody have a good day as i always say and um yeah we'll, we'll catch up tomorrow